it's onion starting time and I'm excited because this is my favorite time is always seedling time so this is what we're doing today is getting the seedling trailer ready for the onions I'm Holly Drew here I'm Jerry The good thing about having a heater in a trailer means that you can start even earlier, so you're not freezing. The farm? Drew's strays. Huh? All your strays. I love them. Look at their new black and white. Mm-hmm. We buy cat food for cats we don't yeah. have. Right now we're doing probably one of the most annoying things you could do. <laughs> That's changing bulbs from the regular to the LED. And these lights that they sell you. Don't order these, y'all. Inside, they both got to match up, and you can hear when you twist them. They just don't work right. They just... But they are the best lights. I guess if you need all this stuff, I mean, best lights. <laughs> they are the best they, lights. It's a process to do seedlings, isn't it? Oh, yeah. To get the trailer up and run in. Some nice pig skins fried up. Really make the difference, too. <laughs> I was hungry. It's only nine in the morning. Too. I know. But we have a lot to do in the trailer, so we have to. I'm putting full down now, right now, on my beds. Everybody and then we got to hang new lights. And then got it. that's what we were doing was working on that other light earlier oh. when it drew, cut his finger. Oh. Hold on. That's what I do. So I here we are. We got to get lights up there. Show them where. Up here. Yep. And then we got to get lots down there. There's going to be bing, bing, six bing, lots across bing, there. Bing, bing. And I got to put full down. I put full underneath my babies. And I really want to put yoga mats, but I don't have any. But I may do that later on. See if I can't conduct a little more heat underneath them. That's a really we'll good idea. It's one of those experiments. <laughs> no more experiments. I don't like them. They Ooh. work sometimes. No, they when. Name one. The zebra tomatoes. Well, you have five. They, but that's the heat. You can't blame the heat for it. I blame the experiment. I don't. We don't. You need to, and the water hey, issue we need as to, well. No. So you can't really. Yeah, you yeah, can't I really. Can. Mm -mm. Yeah, you know mm -mm. they took up Exten what? extenuating circumstances. They took up six of our spaces, maybe even more. We ain't doing that. We're doing the regular potatoes. We got our coffee. We're on coffee break. I'm a contractor. I mean, you, I've done, I know when it breaks in and all that. I get the longest break because I cut my finger. Oh, my goodness. Show them your finger. Oh, I ain't sure. Show but, them. <laughs> hey, uh, just to let everybody know, we got a gigantic little solar system going. We've had it for about a year or so. Um, if anybody's interested, maybe comment, like, share, and ask some questions if you want to know about solar or not. Something you'd buy off the internet. It's a whole built system with batteries and all that. So, figure it, it's called Farm Solar. <laughs> See, I did that. You know, speaking of solar, that's what I had. That's all I had. We'll be turning these lights on, so stay tuned. I know. <laughs> this is just how we do things oh. here on the farm. So, we've got our full down. I did that my first, very first year that I actually did the true farm, and it worked really well, so I'm gonna try to get But so we measured these out every 10 inches, right? Look how good Drew did. Give me another one. <laughs> Doing good work, Hollies. Looks good though. Yeah, it looks Yay. real good. Keep stacking them. And gotta keep, it's, we got to do just the onions because we feel that the temperature is just too cold down Ooh, here for um, the vegetables. So we're going to be putting the vegetables up here with the light. But I went ahead and started the onions that I have to start. I'm waiting on my reds. so And I'm being lazy, basically. Uh -huh. <laughs> the next one I'll do the whole thing is to all be onions. Today I decided that I'm gonna go around the farm and I'm gonna pick up all the limbs and the stuff that we tore up um, for the from the beds. So we have all this stuff, this tarp stuff to pick up, or fabric to pick up. 
um, to get rid of. So um, we're reusing fabric this year. I mean, we're not reusing fabric. We just don't do that. We just buy, buy the bullet and buy more. We have a lot of sprinklers. So we're gonna be using sprinklers this next year um, because the water issue, we are no longer gonna be doing soakers. Uh, you gotta know the ratio of what your plants need versus the water load that you're putting forth. And so we didn't know that. So we're going with sprinklers. Sprinklers shall be fun. So let's go pick up Why are you off in the coldness? There's cold, no cold Drew, cold. No, it's when I got the suit on, there's no cold. No? I got my heated jacket coming Monday. Y'all ain't never seen work when you see a Drew warmed up. And not just a normal Drew. A Drew it was born on November, Friday the 13th in a hayloft. If that don't tell you something, I don't know what does. Gotta get the gloves. Head out to dig up the gladiola bulbs and the ranunculus. We're gonna dig those up and get them all ready to be. We're gonna take the ranunculus and we're going to sprout them in the bathroom. So we're gonna go dig them up and get the bulbs out of the ground as it is winter here in Texas. So that's what we do. We also gotta go dig up a bunch of gladiolas and get their bulbs up as well. We'll be replanting them somewhere else this year. So, because we're going to utilize the area they're in for other things. So, got my helper with me? Let's do it. Here we go. <gasps> That's what the boys do. That's what the boys do all day long. You want to help? All right, let's go. We got to some tools, though. I need let's gloves. I, I forgot where my gloves are. Me, me. Okay, with your gloves? We'll go get them. Guys, yep. we need two of those guys. Good job. All right, let's go. Good morning. Go with Cecilia. You're next to each other. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Oops. There you go. got me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're hoping that the ranunculus is right here, and so we are going to dig and get up the ranunculus bulbs or corms, as they are called. On my feet. Let me dig in. Gotta look for the corn. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, I ate breakfast. I can't find the corms and I can't find the gladiola bulbs. We so, called in reinforcement. Um, we're ready to find these gladiolas. He's gotta dig for us. We'll I find don't them. have the strength. We'll find them. Hope you know what? Know. That's funny. You were over here yesterday. Uh, I was over here yesterday and I thought those were onions. <laughs> so I dug one up looking for a big <laughs> onion because I wanted to cook with it. So, guys, look. I do got some onions <laughs> okay, and I'm fixing to dig those up. Look, guys, right there. Oh, oh What is this? That's what is it. That? That's one. Watch out for that I think there's right one there. in this. I see the stick at oh. the There's another one in there. Okay, we're getting them. Okay, honestly, that is way too much work. I should have done, had these bulbs harvested, but I didn't, and so we're out here like fishing. It's like fi trying to find a needle in a haystack, but I did, I ended up with three bulbs. So I guess we will be plowing over the gladiola bed because wah, this wah, is going wah. to be squash i think tentatively speaking i'm not really sure what we're gonna put in this area haven't really thought about it hard enough but i think i'm gonna put squash in this area um we've got a big bed here so we'll see what we'll be putting in this area anyways but it won't be gladiolas i'm putting gladiolas somewhere else and i will order some more instead of working sometimes sometimes the work is not worth it and it's just easier and better to to buy it so that's what we'll be doing so now we're going to be transplanting lettuce and i'm making um, some soil so that the lettuce will be in it and we're going to keep those in the greenhouse with under lights um until they're ready to be harvested so i'm going to be making some soil for the lettuce 
we're gonna start with that we're gonna keep them underneath the lights in the trailer uh, in four inch and then we might have to go up to one gallons but those are just for us so that we can harvest them for the farm and eat them here um, from ho for homesteading purposes so here we go best helper in the world. Emery, look up so they can see you. Your face is so dirty. <laughs> she knows how to put the things together. I'll be over here working. I'll turn around. She'll have her new flat and new four by four inches. And she's a goer. She's good at that stuff. issues begin we're starting with the hose and of course the sprayers broke and so that's more sprayers and we have to have new rakes and such is the life on a farm see if one of these will work Ugh. we have to go through five of them before we found one that's actually not too terrible always breaking stuff always needing new stuff money 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 So we're gonna go pick out all the spots that we are designating certain plants to this year and kind of go over tentatively speaking where we're gonna be putting things um, this year. And we're gonna hope this year is nothing like last year. If you follow us at all, you'll know that last year we had a huge water issue and we shut down the whole farm. All we did was keep just enough to keep the homestead going, enough for herbs and uh, some tomatoes and stuff like that, just a small amount. So the only reason the farm even survived a portion of the year was because of Drew. He did everything himself and kept the farm going and got us to the markets. It was short lived, but we made it. So, so here we are. We are gonna start in the smaller garden, the garden up closest to the house, our actual house. This area is going to be nothing but 
tomatoes. This will be all tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, beef steak tomatoes, all the big varieties that we grow each year. We're gonna be putting those up here. In the beds back here, we will be doing, I think, you know, I'm gonna leave that open because I'm not really sure what we're gonna be doing in the beds back there. But we will be, we will be putting something in the beds or as, as the season progresses, I will figure out what we're putting in the beds up in the front area as well. But for right now, I'm not sure. The field in the very, very, very back, way back up in there, that's gonna be flowers. So, and of course the flowers down in the front of, down in these areas up front is gonna be flowers as well. Those are always there each year. They're beautiful, they make the farm look good, and so we'll be doing that. And this area this year, we are gonna put squash. And underneath where the, the trees are and stuff is probably gonna be more of our basils and stuff that can actually take a little bit of shade and stuff that don't need all that full sun that most things need. So we'll be doing that. In this area right here, this is gonna be uh, regular cucumbers. In this area here, this is gonna be um, pickling cucumbers. So last year our sun was brutal. Last year the sun was so brutal and this year in the area up front where I showed you where the tomatoes are going to be, that will have shade cloth this year because last year it was so brutal that we lost most of our plants regardless of the water situation. I don't think we were going to get much out of it anyways because what we did get was very small fruit. Um, it did produce but wasn't worth selling to be honest. And there wasn't enough of it out as well. So, and this area down here and stuff will be onions. So this will be a whole row of onions and peppers. We're also going to be putting in a fence. So the whole property will be lined with fence. It will be hot wire and barbed wire. Um, we have a lot of cattle in this. Out here in the country, we have lots of cattle, and sometimes the neighbors' cows get out, and we chased cows quite a bit last year. So we don't want to have to do that again. So we'll definitely be putting in a fence. So right here where we're putting in the squash, we're not sure what else to put. It is a pretty sunny area right in this area. Um, so what do you guys think that we should plant? I mean, give us some ideas what all we should plant. And no okra. I'm not doing okra this year. Okra produces every year. It did even with the water issue and everything. Okra is so plentiful. But I just can only pickle so much okra and sell so much okra. Okra, when you pick it, you have to take it to the market within like two days, two to three days. It starts, it loses its, it starts turning brown and just ugly. It still tastes good and stuff, but nobody wants to buy it like that. And if you don't pick it every single day, it grows so fast that by the time two or three days, it's just, it's overgrown. So you literally have to pick it every single day. And it just becomes such a hassle for me to be out here picking it every day. It actually burns me out from the garden because I work a full-time job. So I work a full-time job and after work, I come out here and I farm. And on the weekends, I farm. And after hours, I farm. And during the summer, we farm till 10, 11 o'clock at night. We have to have lights that light up our farm so that we can farm at night because we both have full-time jobs. My husband's a contractor and I'm a nurse. So that's what we do in our real life. <laughs> I'm hoping to retire in a few years. And so this is what we want to do is to farm. And so hopefully, hopefully with us, uh, me retiring in a few years, we'll be able to farm. That is my goal right here, all the way from this area, all the way down to the road, all the way over there to the fence. This whole area, it's very long, may not, camera may not do it justice, but it's a very large area, will be garlic. So that's what we'll be planting right here this year is garlic. And we already have it starting to get ready to be put into the ground. So been harvesting the cloves and getting them ready to be planted. I don't show this area very often, but back here in this, by this solar system, because we have a solar system that runs our home, um, we have grapevines all the way down through here is grapevines all the way out to that fence back there So these are all of our grapevines. I will show you our raspberry vines as well beds. Again, I would take someone's opinion or suggestions of what we should plant in the front beds I would like them to be pretty most of the year. So we might do marigolds. I like those they are pretty they smell good Some people don't like the smell. I love the smell. So we'll see 
right here um, all the way down if you look you'll see I don't know if the camera will catch it but there's these and there's actually been wood ones but this whole do you do that this whole line right here is raspberries so they're dormant right now but hopefully they'll come back and come back very fruitful let's hope so. okay so here we are we are up here in the field and this year this whole entire field and it is ginormous it's a whole acre here it goes all the way up here all the way back we have a house sitting right here it's my daughter's um, but the field itself is a blank slate in the very back back there we will have chickens we're going to be doing a bunch of um, farm raised eggs at the market so that's one of our goals uh, but mostly the field is for flowers uh, the year that I did most of my flowers up here, it produced a tremendous amount of flowers and just gorgeous. Last year, we did most of our flowers down in the very, very front bed, and it did okay. But like I say, we had that brutal heat and the water, so there's no really comparison and no, um, we can't really weigh it against anything because we had so many obstacles. So I'm hoping that this year we'll be able to put the flowers out here and that they'll do just like they did the first year and be just plentiful and beautiful. Let's just hope for that. Basically, that's all you can do. <laughs> so but that's what we're up to here on the farm. And we hope that you guys join us and hope you enjoy our films. And hopefully we can teach you some stuff. I mean, we're still learning ourselves, but you never know. And I can always, always appreciate suggestions and help. So if you ever think of something that you think that I'm doing wrong or need some help with, shoot me a comment. I'd be glad to hear it. Thanks for joining us today, guys, and I hope to see you next time here on the farm.